Hey guys, I'm Rachel Lynn for Queen Bee of Honeydews and I am so excited that we are getting started with our Christmas decorations already. Today we're going to build a star. To start my project, from a piece of 1x4 I'm going to cut 5 sections that are 8 inches in length and 5 sections that are 6 inches in length. Next, I'm going to set my miter saw to 36 degrees and cut the end of each piece so that it has a 36 degree bevel. Now on this next section, I'm going to slow things down a bit so that you can see what's going on. As you can see, I have a jig placed on my miter saw that's going to allow me to make a 54 degree angle cut on the end of each piece. I have a video on exactly how to make these angles or any angle and I will leave a link in the description below. Your final cut should measure 6 inches for 5 pieces and 4 and 3 quarter inches for the other 5 pieces as measured from the tip of your 54 degree angle along that side. To assemble your star, first divide your pieces into two piles, one for the long side and one for the short side. Then begin to attach one short side to one long side at the 36 degree miter cut. Continue to attach short to long until you have five identical sections. Next, we're going to attach these sections to each other. Again, we're going to attach the short side to the long side. This time, we're going to make sure that the short side is lined up on the inside of the long side at the 54 degree beveled ends. Repeat this same step for all five sections, being sure to line up the short side inside the long side until you have completed the star. Now let's fast forward in time and you'll see that I've stained and finished mine to have a rustic farmhouse sort of look. I'm going to add a little ornament to the inside of mine just for a little something extra. I'm using wood glue because that seems to be the only way to get up in that corner. It's just too tight of a space to maneuver to get a hook or anything in there. So just use some wood glue, make sure your ribbon is perfectly straight, and you might want to use something to push it up in there tight. I'm just using the handle of one of my paintbrushes, and that pretty much does it for this project. Well, thanks for tuning in again for another DIY. Leave a comment or a question below. I love to hear from you, and I'll get back to everything.